Besieged 2. Infinite. Vote 5 for an extra congregate point. It's currently 6.44 p.m. I've been doing many congregate gameplays lately because there's a badge. <laughs> We'll see about that. That's it. Are you seriously telling me I can't upgrade anything? I don't like the fast ones. I've got a phone to get the fast ones. Finally upgrades. We won't get the volume until level four. I'm going to keep the basic arrow for a very long time. Jezzer doesn't charge anything.
one has to take risks in order to make serious money. Don't worry, there was a recent... Have a nice night, night. Once they bring in the archers, that's probably when they'll start damaging the castle.
Jester defeat is free. Just spam the arrows. I just got up. I just got a five point congregate damage. But something's wrong. In order to survive the next round, we must speed up the basic arrows. She is expensive. I can tell you, increasing the rate in which we fire arrows is already beginning to help. We need an impenetrable wall of arrows. So we trade our archers to fire arrows more quickly. How dare you fire arrows? some pretty serious damage. Try 
these skeletons have managed to take down hundreds of castles. Not yours, however. You are made of sterner stuff. Your archers, at least. Your archers fight arrows very quickly. And none of these skeletons are even slightly known. Except for perhaps maybe the knights. We have a strategy. We We have a strategy on how to defeat these skeletons. That strategy is more dynamic. If that is how it's pronounced. That's right. More dead. If that's how it's pronounced. No matter how fast you run, you're never quite fast enough, or strong enough, to beat my arrow. They paid a great price. Maybe we do level 5 again, maybe that'll be enough. Build a fight.
stealthing army is only going to get stronger and stronger. So, we need to start arming. We need to fire any we need to fire arrow at an ever accelerating rate. Otherwise, we won't survive. In history, people have managed to survive sieges. Then he may be able to keep on going and never ever give up. Does this does increasing the reach rate at which we fire arrows do anything? It's only a about a twentieth of a second. Sure, I got enough stars for the next castle upgrade, but... Maybe that could be it on how we survive. Oh well. At least, hope, at least I haven't taken an arrow to the knee yet. For lots of arrows to work, we need to be efficient.
Yes, he is actually doing something. 4,000? Oh, it actually speeds it up more, it seems. I think we're in tip-top shape to take on the next challenge. The Skeleton King is getting mad. And you won't like him when you're mad. But we're up for the challenge. If miners appear, something for them. I'm sure. Does the volley recharge? Not very often. At least not often enough. guy who could repair the castle has a pretty weird name. I, wo I wonder how you pronounce it. With one arrow, with a one arrow per second, I don't think the enemy will be able to easily outrun the arrow wall. Or arrow shield because it keeps them all at bay.
more. The next wave could have a serious challenge.
By the time I finish off a wave, the next one comes. Amazing! I saved my own cancer from serious damage. That definitely deserves an extra star. And then we do play this level over just to get enough money to fire arrows even more quickly.
my accuracy was just a little better. Get rid of the archers. If we see archers, it gets rid of them. We have to be quick. There are probably now terrorist skeletons. The ones that explode. Strategize you can quickly ruin any battle play. Got it. Thank you. 
what would be easy to cancel now? I mean, I know it's the upgrade, but does the castle look different? I think the castle looks more really important now. I can tell he didn't completely utilize Super Team 3D. He didn't completely utilize it. It doesn't look completely like 3D. But of course, then the game would be much, much harder. Hey, do we not have any knights of our own? How come we don't ever send any knights onto the battlefield? Is archers literally all we have? Or is there just some kind of random made up rule? Besiege to infinite. Infinite. As in, we're going to have to deal with these skeletons forever. Even after we've gotten, even after we've upgraded our castle to the max. He 
charges of 4,000. And like any skeleton army tech that results in massive castle damage if we survive at all, they bring out a bunch of mines. Then several quick guys, all by several shielded guys.
That's a pretty good clip on.
I've managed to reduce the amount of damage done to the castle to almost nothing. Okay, it's currently 7.50 p.m. Till next time.